What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's Popey J and thank you so much for being part of the premium content service here on PopeyJN.com. Welcome back to our Q&A series. It's been a while since I've done one of these, I apologize, but I do have a question that I, I feel like should be answered, so let's get into it. How genuine is the Popey JM persona as compared to Brayden Pope, which is me when I'm not doing this, my real life. So how, how... I guess I'm going to take this question as how do I compare the Popey JN and the Braden Pope side of it and are they similar or am I putting on something when I'm doing YouTube? Which is a question I feel most YouTubers get asked um, at some stage. Uh, but for me, I, I try to be as genuine as I can. Um, obviously, I feel like you could tell when I first started out in 2011. I was 12 or 13 years old and I just started out by basically just copying every mannerism of uh, Markiplier and PewDiePie. So if you go if you go back to even the early intros, I did like a shitty version of, of PewDiePie's intros where I was like, oh, how's it going? It's Popey JN. And then that like a couple years into it, I, didn't, I wasn't finding myself to be happy. And the reason that I wasn't happy like two or three years into doing the gaming side of it was because I wasn't being genuine and I wasn't being who I am as a person. I was kind of just trying to ride on the coattails of somebody else's success. And then when I found my own kind of formula and pattern to doing it, um, that's when it really kicked off for me. You know, and people responded to that a lot more, I feel, than when I was just blatantly trying to uh, emulate people or uh, Im impersonate people. Um, so, you know, now it's, you know, the what's going on, everybody, on YouTube's Popey J. And, and that was an intro I was happy with when I first came up with it. I was like, that's good. You know, that's something that is unique to the channel because... You need to find your little niche. You need to find your little part of how you fit in to the gaming culture. But you need you can obviously look at people like PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, all those people if you're into the gaming industry. Um, and not even if it's the gaming. If you're a beauty channel or a makeup channel, you could look at people like Marzia and and all of that. Or if you're a uh, vlogger, you could look at Zoella and um, Casey Neistat and stuff. But if you're blatantly just going to emu emulate and uh, impersonate another person's style and feel, I feel like you're not going to go far because you're going to get very bored with it very quickly. So what I would suggest is finding your own persona within that. Now, obviously, you can take a couple of notes from those bigger people. Like if you're a vlog channel, look at Casey Neistat and say, well, he uses drone shots for this. He uses handheld for this. I can adapt that style, but I need to make it my own. Um, so that's what you do. You kind of look at the people that have, have come before you, look at the styles that they were doing and think, can I A, use the, is that a style I want? And B, is there a way that I can adapt it to make it unique for myself? And hopefully I feel like I've done that um, in Popey JN. And in the last year, I think Popey JN's become a lot more like myself in real life than any previous year. Because previously I felt like I was trying to live up to an expectation of be loud, have a million fucking voices that you do all the time, you know, and all that. But now I, I feel like I, I'm a bit more loose with how I do the gameplays and everything. And I feel hopefully that you guys have connected with that a bit more than you have just me sitting here doing, you know, doing Stewie Griffin and Peter and all that kind of stuff, which I still enjoy doing, but I, I feel like I've finally found my voice, which is weird to say, cause I've now been doing it for seven years. Uh, but thank you for your question. If you guys would like to submit your own questions, you can at popyjn.com, the website that you're on right now, there is a Q&A tab 
uh, you can submit your questions and I'll answer them in an upcoming video. Uh, this is a service for the premium subscribers only. Uh, so thank you guys again for becoming premium members. I really do appreciate that. Um, you guys allow me to create the content that I want to create with no restriction, no censorship. So I'm really grateful for that. So thank you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.